which is where I've been a bit daft obviously because I can't see it there it is it's all enough bit louder but I still couldn't see it um, right so let's save let's save and see if we can get the Daedric Crescent then I won't be able to move probably because I'm loading down loading down with just stuff just stuff look at all the stuff I've got look at it so much stuff would you like to travel to Vegas Mola Vala Megas Vala okay oh you're a bad man oh that's handy um dun 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 dun. Oh boy. Well, that's handy. Well, that was pretty easy. You have defeated Lord Dragas Vala, the Daedric amulet that brought you to this place disappears when your inventory is replaced by Vala's own weapon. You now wield the, da the Crescent Blade. Sorry, the Crescent Blade. And now I can't move. I can't move. But look, I'm not going to use this. The Daedric Crescent, long blade, two-handed, does 15 to 40, 20 to 50, and 5 to 15 damage. Has a high condition, high weight because it's Daedric. 180,000, and um, as well as race, and it disintegrates armor, and more importantly, paralyzes. But I, well, I'll show you it. I suppose it's pretty pointless getting the most unique item in the game if you're not going to show you people it. There we go. There it is. I am very over encumbered right now. How badass does very ass looks now, eh? Eh? How badass do I look now for a level seven, eh? Hmm? Hmm? Am I level seven? Yeah. Level seven pawn, that's what I am, and look at that. Yeah, except I can't move. I can't move. This is a problem. Let's do a. I'm gonna I'm gonna load some stuff off now because I've done really well this time. So I'm just gonna um, go try and get back to Creeper. This is gonna go badly. Yeah, uh, I think I've got something that casts this. Hmm. Maybe not. Ah, okay. So now I can drop stuff here because, as it's been demonstrated, people in the game, NPCs, do not pick up stuff that might be lying around, like 30,000 gold. They don't do it. They just don't do it because they're odd and weird. So I'm going to do some inventory sorting. I think I just like trebled in power this episode. How can I help you? Oh, uh, what's my magicka resist you now? Take too much of my time. Well, I'm immune to fire. That's nice. Uh, and oh, where's my other magicka resist? There we go. Eighty. Eighty percent magical resistance. Do, 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 do. I'm totally badass. Da, 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 da. But still. I'll still get pwned by things. I know I will. Being overconfident and all. We'll see what happens next time. Set me a challenge. Something, um... Quite imaginative. Don't, don't just say destroy the town of Balmora. I could have done that at level one with Lotus of Juma. You know, it's, it's, it's something. Um, I'm not going to be able to sell anything to you, am I? These boots. Oh, I need to buy something back from you. There we go. Since I'm a bit strapped for cash now, I say that somewhat sarcastically. I need a better bow. 
And I don't need these. I don't need these rings. I could sell them, I suppose, but I might as well keep them here. I'll start stashing stuff here. Uh, I think actually these rings might be useful. I'm going to keep them. For if I follow armor, I don't need that. Well, I might wear that normally. As opposed to that. Uh, okay, yep. Yeah, frost damage. Uh, that's an amulet, though. Okay. Yeah. Uh, lots of potions that I really should try and use. Still, you. Um, wait a minute, I'm drop something. There we go. Oh, I need that as well. Anything else that I can really f just get rid of? Those, um. Okay, that kind of worried me. The, uh. The. Merchants, they, uh. Barred with me, even though I had skooma. I thought that was illegal. Turns out it's not. It's also worth, also worth rather a lot. Um, yeah, yeah. I was going to set a mark there, but I don't have enough magic and I can't be bothered waiting or resting or whatever. So I'm just going to head back and get my other stuff. I mean, I, I I could keep the wizard staff on me because that is quite useful having the long levitation, but I never use it. I'm all, I'm I'm like that. I'm, I'm I I can be quite elitist in what I what I carry, but sometimes I have a habit of keeping things in case it might be useful. But then I'm going to be. I'll show you scourge actually, or scourge, scourge. Summons a Demora and summons a Scamp. It just looks like a Daedric Mace, except it's a bit glowy. And you can uh, summon things with it. And they'll morph into each other and create some sort of weird two-headed freak thing. Looks like uh, Krang out of the turtles. Moving on. And they're still following me. Yeah, don't mind me. You know, I'm just follow I'm just. I just hang around with these guys. You know, don't judge by appearances. Okay, they're nice people. Travel to Caldera. They have only got it. No, they're still following me. Still following me. They are. And are they still following me now? No, I've lost them. Ha 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 ha. I can test it again. Not that I really want you to. Alright. Uh, so that's Scourge. Nice weapon. You just get to the stage where you're carrying all this stuff around and it's like, wait. How am, how am I supposed to sell this? You know, it's worth like 180,000 gold. I'm never going to be able to, you know, give creeper that much, he's only got 5,000, the mud crab only has 10,000, I mean it's impossible to sell them, so you might as well give them to that last in uh, Monhold. But there you go, I'm gonna, oh, I don't... can I rest in these? Nope, can't sleep in someone else's bed, I was just thinking about creating a mark spell here, but I think I'm div dithered enough, so I'm, I'm not going to, I'm just gonna leave it like that. This has been a very successful episode, and I thank you all very much for watching. Uh, next time, who knows, it's up to you guys. Until then, toodaloo.